And if I'd have known that was the price that I was going to pay. Yeah, you're talking about your personal life. Yeah, there was no way that I would have ever gone for it. I would have never have entertained it for a second. No, no. Well, it is very sad indeed, but um, my God, it opened so many people's eyes. Yeah, but I, I honestly feel now that it's probably done more detriment than it has benefit, you know? Yes. I, I, I do, because I didn't explain things the way they should have been explained. I should have done it from... I, I, I said in the beginning it was a perspective, but I didn't actually carry that perspective out. I kind of delivered it as though it was some form of truth, and I had no right to do that whatsoever because I couldn't prove any aspect of it. I had evidence that was on the screen, but it still wasn't 100% proof that I was right in what I was suggesting. But it is, John. Yeah, aspects of it are, Graham, but not all of it. Well, the way I look through it, and I, I, can, I, can, I can't fault it, I can't fault it all the way through, and it's just, it's just perfect sense. And, um, um, yeah, but it created so many monsters, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Know, it created free men... In the lounge, it created, you know, freeloaders on the land. You know, it, it created people who had this miscomprehension that they could fucking do anything and get away with it because they were above the fucking law or were subject to the law. And some of these people did some pretty fucking horrible things. You yes. Know, this, even to the point that people died. Okay. Um, that's fucking wrong, mate. That is severely wrong. And if I'm, you know in some ways responsible for these sort of things happening. I mean, then I didn't do it. I didn't offer my fellow men of service. No, you didn't. You, you can't carry that, John. You, you can't carry that. If the information didn't come out from you, it would have come out from somewhere else. And I'm eternally... Maybe it would have come out, Graham, in a way that wouldn't have created the monsters it created. Well, the monster created from, um, from performing on stage, um, if you... That's the time the ego switch on. There's, the ego has got to switch on when you're on stage. If it if it doesn't, it doesn't come across. And you're a great orator. And um, you, you, if there has to be a certain amount of ego when you're on that stage, is leaving it there when you come off. That's the hard part. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, at one time I used to I used to look at it and I used to say, yeah, it was my ego and it weren't my fault. And then I realised that basically humanity created this thing called the ego just to. to give something else to blame for its own fucking insidious actions. Um, so I am to blame. I don't blame my ego. My ego is not a separate part of me that has some fucking form of control over my life. I have a fucking choice. And I made, over this last five months, some very, 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 not just disturbing choices, but actually some very ludicrous choices. But at every moment of that, I cannot blame anyone bar myself because I had a fucking choice. I had a choice whether I got on that stage that day and if I could go back in time I would have never gone on that stage. 